In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the flicker that sometimes comes into Final Cut Pro when you're using a recording from Riverside. So if you go, you get it downloaded from Riverside and you pull it up in like QuickTime Player, everything looks perfect. You pull it into Final Cut Pro and there's this like flashing kind of the, uh, let me show you. And I don't have permission to use this client's image, so that's why she is blurred out. So you can see I've got the video scopes up here and you'll be able to see it there along with in the video. So just let me push play for a second. Now that we have a new website, it's really easy for our three different audience types to... Now that we have a new website, it's... So you see that there? It kind of like it, it's a flicker shows up. And I have to say that I did not find this answer. Um, I found this... Project Next Tech on Reddit. So uh, thank you for that. But let me show you how to do what he suggests. So find your original file that you have imported here and then go up to the I in Inspector. And then I think by default, it's it shows up as basic, but you're gonna wanna go to Settings here. And then this Color Space Override, turn it to Rec 709. I have no idea what this does, but now that I've done that, let me push play again. Now that we have a new website, it's really easy for our three different... So you can see there was very little change in the video scope, and the flicker is gone. I have, like I said, I have no idea what that does, but it totally removes that ugly flicker that shows up. I tried CD flicker, I tried all different things, and then I found this online. So uh, thank you to Reddit. So... Um, yeah, hopefully you find this helpful. I'm also recording it for me because I'll probably forget by the next time I need to do this.